welcome to each topic today we'll start chapter 4 introduction to internet so all of you know internet and today's life we cannot do anything without internet if you go to a railway station airport shopping mall everywhere internet is internet is needed even if you go to a bank and the server is down or suppose the internet is not working then the bank employee will not do anything because their whole system is connected with the internet if you do any update then all the computer that the, the bank have will be updated automatically so in this chapter we'll discuss the basic basics of the internet it includes topology topology means how we'll put the computer a brief history of the internet and type of internet connection search engine sending receiving emails so first of all what is internet when we connect two or more computers together and this computer will connect to a network and like this type of uh, network again we connect to a router or to a server that type of things is known as internet internet has gained popularity because it is, it is an essential part of our life through internet we can exchange information very quickly through whatsapp we can send the messages very quickly but if you are going to send them later it will take much time a network is a collection of two or more interconnected computer such as computing device or any other digital device internet is nothing but interconnection of worldwide computer network for example net it is also called as network of networks it can be defined as global network over millions of smaller heterogeneous computer networks now the structure of the internet the internet has uh, no central structure or central governing body if uh, someone asks you who is the owner of internet just uh, you can answer that there is no owner of the internet but there are some volunteers who are looking after the internet but they are not actually owner therefore there is no central <coughs> failure <coughs> it means if the connection between two computers is lost the information still can be delivered to the destination by finding another route the geometric structure of how computers are connected to each other on a network is known as topology. Means, suppose I want to go from here, Beltola to Jalukbari. I will have different route via highway, via GS road, or via Chanmari. If one road is blocked, I can choose the alternate way. Suppose the GS road is blocked, or it is uh, for some reason it is uh, in. blocked by government then we can use the alternate route uh, through highway this way on internet also between two computers if uh, there is some uh, errors or suppose uh, the network between the, these two computers is not working then we can choose the alternate way and how we'll put the computer in a network this is known as topology there are different topologies in to connect the computer their mesh star bus ring and hybrid let's see how a bus topology look like a bus topology is look like this one it will have a central cable through that cable all the computer or electronic devices will be connected like laptop computer printer server all devices will be connected to that table uh, to that cable that cable is known as the backbone of the network if something happened to the cable the whole network may get disturbed then the next one is ring topology so this one is the ring topology in ring topology the computer are connected in a circular way means one computer will connect it to another computer each computer will have two neighbors so this way when the computer are connected this way this is known as ring topology and the another one is star topology in star topology we will have one central uh, device that device is also known as hub through the hub all other computer are connected when we uh, connect the computer to a hub if something happened to a particular computer then other computer will be still working but if something happened to the hub then all the computer network will get disturbed so this is the disadvantage of star topology advantages advantages when one computer get disconnected all other computer will keep working but if the central figure get disconnected then the whole network will get disconnected so these are the main topologies of the network and one more topology is given in book that one is mesh topology 
actually mesh topology is a collection of uh, ring and uh, here all the computer will, will be connected to each other suppose uh, this one is computer 1 let's uh, draw this one is computer 1 this one is computer 2 this one is computer 3 and this is computer 4 now computer 1 want to send a message to computer 4 so it can send directly from 1 to 4 arrow line is there and even it can receive from 4 they have direct communication but if something happened to this line if this line uh, get disturbed then they can access it through via 3 then 4 or they can also go this way 2 then 4 or suppose this one also get disconnected now want want to send a file to 3 so this can go this way even if get this one get disconnected then what they will do it can do this way from 1 to 3 again uh, then there will be no root I think it cannot send so this way uh, this mesh connection is actually a co combination of ring and star topology now let's move to the ne uh, next topic advantages of mesh topology failure of link one link does not as I have shown here if one link failed one computer failed on the network still we will have multiple parts to connect the computer if there is a failure it is easy to detect we can easily detect which computer is not working because of the direct computer uh, link to another unauthorized access is not possible because each computer have direct connect to uh, link to another computer so uh, outside the computer easily cannot get access in our network less amount of data traverse in internode links disadvantage a large number of wires or connection is required because we have a connection with all the computers like computer 1 will be connected to computer 2 3 4 even 2 will be connected to 1 3 4 so this way we need more cables a large mesh network will require IO port input output port which is very hard very high since the computer needs to be connected to each other in addition to new device it's very difficult because this device will be connect will have to be connected with all other devices so these are the some disadvantages of mesh topology in star topology there is a central device which all other computer are connected so here is given the diagram this is the switch it's a device through which we can connect the computers so through the switch all other computer will be connected and in this topology the advantage is less expensive because its device need to be connected with the central device only with a single link if you want to connect a new computer to a star topology just you need one cable and that cable have to be connected to the hub or switch so you don't need much uh, cables easier to install and easy to install a new computer to the network failure of one link does not isolate the network a failed link can be easily identified if one computer is failed for some reason we can easily identify and we can replace that computer or we can repair that computer and even if it have some disadvantages the central device is the single point of the failure if the central device stop working the whole network will get disturbed the central device required more attention because the central system because it is the central system of the star topology means we have to look uh, take care of the switch or hub then we have bus topology in bus topology there is a main cable all the network computer are connected to that cable since uh, all data is transmitted over one cable there is a limit of the drop, um, drop the data means this uh, type of network can be slow down or because all the computer information are stored sharing just by one cable only so it can happen the advantages are easy to install its computer need to be connected with the main cable fewer cables are required than mesh and star less maintenance is required for bus topology and disadvantage difficult to f uh, find a fault if some computer is doesn't working in bus topology it's very difficult to find out and uh, no scalable as uh, there is a limit how many nodes can be connected to the computer means there is a limit uh, we cannot add much computer in this topology so this is a big disadvantage of bus then we have ring in ring computer uh, topology all the computer are connected through a uh, circular way here its computer will have two adjacent node but uh, which one is not 
at non adjacent this one have to connect do go through that uh, another computer suppose this computer want to send a file to this one it cannot go directly it have to go via this one or through this one so these are advantage easy to install no central devices required a link failure breaks the ring thus fails the entire network so if something happen to the cable then enter network will get disturbed its device has to be active all the time otherwise the data will be not forward suppose uh, in this network this computer is off this computer is turned off now this computer want to send some file to this one or that one then what will happen if data want to transfer so through this way then as uh, this computer is off the data will stop here only so all the computer have to be turned on in ring topology now we have a hybrid topology it's a collection of all ring star and bus so this way this is a ring topology and this one is central cable this is a bus we can call as bus also and here it is a star so actually it is collection of all the topologies now client and server in computing topology terminology client and server refer to the computer that are used for different purposes a client machine and a server machine is different based on their use and behavior the central computer of the network is uh, generally known as server it served up it serve file to the clients and clients the computer which are connected to the uh, server and who are requesting files or information from the server is known as clients means they are always connected uh, to the server and they are always uh, requesting something to the server and server respond to them and server serve them protocol the rules which we follow on the network uh, some rules have to be followed while we are transferring uh, information on the network that uh, rules are known as protocols there are different protocols they are http means hypertext transfer protocol https hypertext transfer se protocol secure ftp file transfer protocol smtp simple mail transfer protocol here http and ftp mainly used in website http without any security and https it's with secure means while we sending information through https it will convert it into a unreadable code so in middle no one can read your messages ftp mainly used to transfer files and smtp used to send uh, emails history of the internet so you may ha have uh, some questions how does internet come to an existence when the internet come to an eff uh, effective way at the, before 1969 there was no concept of internet that time there was only telegram or radios at that time the us army have to send some secure information to their uh, soldiers so they have developed one network that network in name is advanced research project agency network in it was came in late 90s late 1960s means actually it is 1969 so at first uh, it was only used by us army but uh, gradually they ex uh, they allowed us universities to join their network means at first uh, the university of california los angeles and some other universities joined the network and they uh, the network become little bigger after that they allowed all the government offices and colleges to join their network this how the internet grew bigger day by day and in late 90 www develop Uh, www was developed by tim berners lee and he also developed html which uh, make internet more popular means at this time anyone can use the internet just with a personal computer but uh, at that time 1960 internet was just uh, command based means to access information we have to write command but after 1990 after developing html it's just like a page a document which we view on our computer so the internet become popular now internet connection to use internet in our laptop or computer we have to get uh, connection so where i will get uh, the connection we can get the connection from isp this is known as internet service provider so who provides internet service in india at present reliance jio airtel and bsnl are the some popular isp even we can use our mobile um, internet connection also but if you want uh, uninterrupted and unlimited connection then you have to go for broadband which is provided by at present airtel jio uh, reliance jio airtel and bsnl from there you can uh, take the connection and you can access the internet or wifi for 24 hours but uh, some local providers are also there these are the most popular one now wired internet connection internet connection also there are two types wired and wireless wired means 
our internet will be directly connected to a wire that are like provided by Jio fiber or Airtel fiber. There directly one wire is there which will be connected to our home. Through it we will get the internet. So here is given some uh, transfer speed. There are different type of cable in wired connection. Twisted pair, coaxial cable which one we are using in uh, cable TV and optical fiber. This is the latest one which give our, us the maximum speed at present. So while well, if, if you are using twisted pair means the wires which you are using in landline telephones actually this type of wire this give a maximum speed of 10 gbps means 10 gb information per second and the length of the cable can be maximum 100 meter 100 meter after 100 meter we need some other device it's called repeater to extend the connection and coaxial it can give us maximum 10 mbps speed and it can uh, be extended till 500 meter after that, uh, if you need more distance, we need some other devices. An optical fiber, it gives us a maximum 100 Gbps of speed and the limitation of uh, range is 2 km or more than 2 km. Here are some uh, wide internet type uh, connection types, dial-up. This is very old one, at present this one is not using. This gives uh, us a maximum speed of 56k kilobytes per second 56 pay, uh, k speed at present scenario we cannot think only if we have uh, this much speed and uh, suppose we are using whatsapp or we are using uh, facebook or some other thing then for one message we have to wait uh, till 10, uh, 10 minutes to 20 minutes to just receive one message so at present we cannot use this uh, technology and to use dial up connection we always need one landline telephone through dialing a number we can access the internet this was uh, earlier provided by bsnl in india then comes dsl it is the most uh, this popular internet connection it is high speed internet connection through telephone networks means mainly telephone company are providing this network like zio airtel bsnl etc dsl connection has more down uh, downstream bandwidth and less upstream bandwidth in DSL connection signal conversion from digital to analog, analog to digital is not required. While you are taking DSL connection then you no need a modem. Means this conversion, signal conversion is does not required. After that come ISDN. ISDN is also a type of wired connection. <coughs> Here also the internet, the internet is provided through a telephone line only. Then comes cable. Cable internet access is from broadband internet access that uses the same infrastructure as a cable television like cable television you are taking a connection through a wire like that this internet also you are taking by a wire only this can be used in any uh, in an area where cable internet provided is available to use that connection your areas must be covered with the in that internet suppose you want to use zero fiber then your area must be covered with that connection if this is not available then you can uh, invite them in your area and to uh, do this one, we are using mo mostly coaxial cable or fiber cables, wireless internet. In some places which are very remote area, there, there is no direct communication, uh, suppose hilly areas, their cable connection is not available and uh, suppose easily we cannot install cable connection. At that places, we can have a wireless internet connection. To get wireless internet connection means there will be nowhere through satellite or through the radio waves we will get the internet. Through wire, for wireless internet connection, we have this option, satellite connection. In satellite connection, uh, many providers give us satellite connection. They will give us one uh, antenna and one modem. Through that, uh, through that antenna, we can get the uh, internet. But while we are getting the connection through satellite, then that speed will be not enough good. Even Wi-Fi. Some places like Guwahati Railway Station or some airports, some restaurant providers us free Wi-Fi. So we can go to that network and we can access the internet even at your home you can make your mobile hotspot on and you can uh, use Wi-Fi services means you can share your internet service with other devices even then we have uh, WiMAX this is mainly provided by BSNL or some other providers also there it's like a broadband only where cable connection is not available you can go for that WiMAX in WiMAX they will provide you one antenna that antenna will be connected with the other antenna which one is uh, 
in very high or long range and it will give you the internet connection mainly it can give you 4G, 4G connections not much faster it can give maximum 10 Mbps speed at present browser to use the internet we need a special software that is called as browser as this one is a browser so we need uh, this software to use the internet this is called browser in browser where we are writing the address that part is known as address bar in address bar we will write the address then we can open the website like I have opened Google at present so let's go to the file again there are different type of web browser at present I am viewing the file on Microsoft Edge even there is uh, Google Chrome Mozilla Firefox etc then World Wide Web it is a network of uh, server computers that are accessible through an internet connection web pages and all the web documents are accessible through www that's why while opening any website we are writing www even if we don't write a www it automatically added by the browser in web the information and transfer through a through hypertext transfer protocol and can be viewed by web browsers a website it is a collection of one or more web pages which may include song, video, images and all this is called as a website and a single page on the website is known as web page so let's have an example suppose this one www.sebaonline or we may search here also Seba <coughs> so let's see and now uniform resource locator that is URL while we are writing the address, suppose I am uh, writing here the address to open Google. Here you can see https www.google.com. So this is the URL or unique, unique address of Google. Here the connection is secure, that's why https. And here lock symbol is displayed, means whatever information I am typing on Google, this is secured. This is converted to a unreadable format. So this is the format of an URL, first it will have the protocol, it, it can be either HTTP or HTTPS, then you will have subdomain like www or may have other also like shop.flipkart.com. This will be have the root domain means the main domain. Suppose uh, it's a uh, flipkart, it can have here like shop.flipkart.com, then flipkart will be the root domain. Then this will have top, le top level domain means it can have uh, .com, .in, .org, .org net etc then this is the directory or folder where the files are available and this is the page name on which page the information is located search engine the software which serves information on the web is known as search engine so here it's given a picture of google in google we can search information and we'll get this type of uh, outputs how the search engine work search engine has a special operator or special uh, features which is known as crawler or spider when we uh, when someone upload anything on the internet then this crawler will automatically index the web page on the search engine and it will display while someone search that page by some keywords Such search engine have uh, this main functions crawl means to index the pages if some new pages are added on the internet index in, make the list um, to make a list of the websites or the information whatever added to the internet and rank means which are frequently searched on the search engine this information will be kept at top means which uh, websites are popular that website will be at top and which are newer or which website have very less visitor that will be at bottom or at next pages when a user enter a uh, query to search 
the search engine searches in its database and many finds multiple results and by ranking like here it's searching what is an operating system there you will see at first one youtube link then uh, java point then how to geek etc then i think uh, the first video is mostly opened by the user so at first it was it is displaying and after that this one this is actually called as ranking this is the first second third this way and this is automatically uh, provided by the search engine what can be searched in search engine we can search many information like we can search information we can search videos we can search photos we can search document etc any type of information we can search on a search engine some popular search engine are google bing and yahoo electronic mail or email it is a mail which can be sent from from one computer to another this is known as email and email we can send a message within just few seconds we don't have to wait and the receiver don't have to wait uh, that receiver's computer don't have to be connected to the internet while we are sending an email while he will uh, log into the internet then at that time that receiver will receive the message and email using this uh, protocols smtp simple uh, simple mail transfer protocol for sending pop for receiving imap for both sending and receiving emails email address the address of the email is like this way username then address symbol after that domain domain name then extension suppose i have created my email on gmail then it will be like that rafik at the rate gmail.com and while you are creating an email on any provider like gmail yahoo your name should be unique suppose uh, vidya want to create an email in gmail directly if she type uh, she want to register with vidya then her name might not be available she have to give some number numbers and all and always we separate our email's username with domain name by address symbol there is land uh, capacity of land limit is 24 characters in username and 255 characters in the domain name for an email means your username can have maximum 64 characters and this one xyz can have maximum 255 characters components of email while you are sending an email these are the main component subject you will write give some short description of your message in uh, sender means form this message will come autom uh, this email will come automatically means suppose you are sending the message your email will be typed there date it will type automatically you no need to type recipient to means to whom you want to send a message you will write your friend's email to whom you want to send suppose you want to send to abc so it will be like a b c then at the rate gmail.com at the rate gmail.com and cc if you want to send a message to a uh, two message uh, same message to two of your friend and you want uh, then you can use cc features cc means carbon copy suppose you don't let your friend that you have sent the same message to multiple persons then you can use bcc options while you are sending same message to multiple friends using bcc then other friends will not aware about it they will think that uh, you have sent that message to that person only attachment you can also send files to throw an email you can send document pictures movies so this is known as attachment so this is the ui of google or gmail let's try to open in here also in browser gmail.com so we'll write gmail dot com so this is the new version of gmail it's work on html5 so here are the messages you will get the different uh, folders like inbox star means whatever messages are important for you you can keep star sent what whatever message you have sent till now and uh, draft means the messages which you want to send later sent which message you have already sent so this is a uh, the interface of gmail even hangout means uh, you can even chat with online users so one user is online it from my friend list i think this is me only with that you can even chat even you can uh, start a video meeting or you can join meeting through your email
chat option also there you can chat by that now let's go to another sending and receiving email these are component i already told in box it will store all your incoming messages compose this option you will use to write a new message send this folder will keep all the messages that you have sent drop here you can store the message that you want to send it later spam the unnecessary message sometimes you may receive some unnecessary messages that are stored in spam folder so here i may have spam folder let's see this one spam folder as i have not shared my this uh, email with anyone so there is no spam email if you share your email with uh, many websites they you might receive some some useless messages that are known as spam trash trash or bin means whenever you de delete a message it goes to trash folder let's see so this is my gmail first i'll go to inbox and delete one message from there so this my inbox let's delete this message this is the delete option so i have deleted my message now if i go to trash folder here we'll have trash folder this one so you see the trash message is here till 30 days the message will be staying here after 30 days it will be delete automatically means after 30 days i cannot recover the deleted message from gmail file attachment we can also attach the files suppose i want to send a new message first i will go to compose and i will write to whom i want to send suppose to me only it's r a y q at the red gmail dot com then subject suppose just testing and here message hello and to attach a file we'll tap on the attach file option then uh, our file explorer will open then we'll select the file and send it and after that i can send up message after sending the message this message will available on send folder so this is my send folder as the internet connection is too bad so it's take more time so this is my sent message as i have sent one picture through attachment it's here and this is my message and the uh, subject is displayed at top chat and video conferencing chat is a very popular medium nowadays we can uh, talk with our friend in a textual way chat is nothing but a message through which we can send to our friends in real time chat messages may be textual or multimedia or conversion session over the internet means uh, textual means just we'll write text and uh, multimedia means we can send smileys and all so this way we can do and for chatting we have some uh, websites like uh, seven cups airtime facebook messenger google hangout whatsapp etc for video chat we can use meet.google.com or google meet this is the ui of google meet video conferencing is a live based video meeting between at least two individuals from different geographical area they are using video enabled devices like computer or mobile so that uh, they can talk in real time they can uh, share their ideas or they can discuss some different topics to do video call on the internet we can use zoom or google meet even webex also there or microsoft team also there anyone you can use it for uh, to conduct a video call nowadays even whatsapp is providing group call just you have to go to the group and you can select the context and you can start a video call so uh, i have completed the chapter in next video i will discuss the answers of this chapter thank you for watching see you in the next video till then take care and bye